Hi everyone, Ho from Advo here. And in today's video, we're answering the question, how much is my injury case worth? And uh, that's a really great question to ask because a lot of times, you know, people, uh, if they get involved in an accident, uh, they have to be compensated something. And a lot of times I find that uh, individuals who are injured in an accident, a lot of times they don't really understand or know uh, how to value their case or what the value of their case is. And in order to figure out the value of a case, there's really uh, two main areas uh, that we look at to figure out, well, what's the adequate compensation that we have to pay someone in order for, uh, to make up for their damages or for their losses. And that would be including things like, you know, all the medical bills that they had to pay after the accident, the doctor's visits and things of that nature, or any property damage. Let's say, for example, um, you know, something was damaged in the accident and uh, they have to be compensated for that. There's also another type of damages which are called uh, um, pain and suffering damages. We'll go into those a little bit too. And those are really the damages about um, how uh, the accident affected your life, how it stopped uh, you from being able to do certain things or limited your uh, movements because of your injuries. So in order to answer that question, uh, going back to square one, really you have two uh, main buckets basically. Um, you have two main buckets and those buckets represent the different types of damages which uh, you would get compensated for and of course in California and the United States uh, you know if someone uh, is negligent and they cause an injury and they have to repay you and they the only way that um, you can get compensated for your losses is with money damages obviously in the US we don't have anything like eye for an eye it's just because somebody rear-ended you you're not going to go and rear-end them or anything like that so Basically, the two buckets are one is the uh, economic damages, um, or we call them sometimes special damages. They may be referred to by your attorney. And what those are is basically, like we said earlier, those are all of your uh, out-of-pocket expenses or money that you have to pay someone for uh, the medical treatment that you received and your property damages. For example, let's say you go to a doctor and you have $1,000 in medical bills. Well, the negligent party, the person who caused the accident, they have to pay you back that $1,000. Um, now, also, uh, so those are really the out-of-pocket, the stuff that we can put a money value on. However, there's the second bucket, you know, which is called the non-economic damages, and sometimes they're referred to as general damages. And what those types of damages are, are basically uh, your pain and suffering, your physical pain and mental suffering. Now, when we say physical pain and mental suffering, uh, you might be thinking, well, Hov, how do I put a number or a price on my physical pain or mental suffering? Well, the way to do that is really uh, the people or the individuals who figure out what that number is for your physical pain and mental suffering, it will be the jury. So uh, members of your community, 12 people of a jury, they are asked to, at trial, they are asked to take a look at all of the physical pain and mental suffering that an injured individual suffered as a result of the negligence of another person. And the jury is then tasked with figuring out what that number really is. And the way the jury does it is they look at all sorts of aspects of your life. For example, um, let's say an individual has uh, been involved in an accident and they have neck pain now. They never had neck pain after the accident, but now in the mornings when they wake up, they have neck pain. Or when they go to work, they can't go to work sometimes. Or they used to love bike riding, but because of the accident, they can no longer do any biking. So the jury is really uh, figuring out how much of an impact did the injuries have on this person's life? What kind of things did they like to do in the past that they can uh, no longer do or that they have to do with pain? Um, so they look at factors like that. They also look at time, right? They look at how long it took for this person to recover. How many months, maybe years, did this person have physical pain, mental suffering? They also take into account how often the pains present themselves, right? Some people, they have constant pain every day. Other people, the pain comes and goes. So really, at the end of the day, uh, our jury system is designed to compensate people for their physical pain, mental suffering. And at the end of the case, really, you get 
uh, compensated for those two things. So the more you have of out-of-pocket expenses and the more uh, impact and physical pain, mental suffering you have on your life as a result of the accident, the value of your case goes up. Obviously, every case is different. No two cases have the same value. No two cases have the same facts, not the same accidents. So if you're curious about the value of your case, um, whether you have an attorney or not, you can always feel free to give us a call. Uh, we're Advo Law Injury Attorneys. Our number is 800-808-4613. Stay safe out on the roads.